On Dollar Tree Dinners, we're going to do a Dutch oven Sloppy Joe's casserole. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a Dutch oven Sloppy Joe's casserole from the Dollar Tree. We are going to make a five ingredient or less Sloppy Joe's casserole that is going to knock your socks off. And it's going to be budget friendly and it's going to be frugal because we want to stretch that dollar further and get more bang for your buck to save you and your family money. This recipe is going to be simple and easy to prep. In a moment, I'm going to turn my camera around and show you exactly what you need. But first, if you are new here, thank you so much for checking me out and clicking on my link. I appreciate everybody's support each and every day. Let's look for my subscribe guy down below. He is going to tell you to smash that like button, to click on that subscribe word, and then you can click on that bell, and it will notify you when I upload a new video, and you can personalize it to your preference. Let's turn this camera around and show you everything that you need. From the Dollar Tree, you will need a package of the beef patties, one to two depending on your family size. The cornbread mix by Martha White, pen pasta, a half an onion, a sandwich, the Prego meat sauce, and a bag or can of mixed vegetables. And you'll be using a half a bag of the mixed vegetables as well as a half a box of the burla. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start the pot of water for your pen pasta. And I'm going to fill the water right about there in this large stock pot. I like to use the big stock pot when I'm doing big batches of pasta or corn on the cob or potatoes. It just gives it more room and cooks better in my opinion. I'm going to finish filling up the water then we're going to put it to high heat on the stove, add a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of oil. You're going to want to put your burner on and I have the left front burner on high heat and now I'm going to add about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of salt and about a tablespoon of oil. Now the oil is going to keep your noodles from getting sticky and clumping together. Add in the salt. Just eyeball it in. And now you're going to add in the oil. I think I'm being slick here trying to do one hand at a time. Almost failed. I ball in about a tablespoon. Now we're going to let this come to a raging boil before we add the pasta and let the pasta cook for about 13 to 14 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to prep the Dutch oven. Spray your Dutch oven with whatever you have available. Give it a nice coating. Then we're going to add in our onion. I'm going to open up the package of dates, but we're not going to add that into the Dutch oven yet. We're going to take the Dutch oven over to the stove top and we're going to give the onions a nice caramelization. You're going to turn your right front burner on to about medium heat. Around five is good. Take your wooden spoon or spatula, whatever you like to cook with, and you're going to swish your onions around. You're going to let them hang out and the butter spray that 
you sprayed your pan with, and then you're going to add about a teaspoon of salt and about a tablespoon of oil. Not too much. Just shy of a tablespoon. Then we're going to caramelize these onions until they turn translucent with a caramel color. And that's what you mean by caramelization. I love the smell of onions cooking when they're being caramelized. It smells so good. I'm going to let these hang out on medium heat for about three minutes. In the meantime, the water is just about ready to go into a raging boil. And then we'll add the pen to the pot of water. It smells so good in here. And let the pasta cook for about 13 minutes. We're not going to completely cook the pasta all the way through because the Dutch oven will go into the oven with everything in it and the cornbread topping on top and it will bake the rest of the way. Oh, it smells so good in here. Love the smell of onions. Now we're ready to add the beef. Take your beef. I already opened up the package. And dump it in. And then I got my masher. I'm just going to break up the beef so it cooks faster. And add three teaspoons of garlic. If you have fresh, you can use fresh. I like to make this as easy as possible. And it's a Dollar Tree dinner. And they don't carry fresh garlic, but they do have jarred garlic by Goya sometimes. So keep your eyes out. It's usually in the condiment section. Now I just added three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I'm going to let this continue to cook before we add the meat sauce and the Prego meat sauce. You're going to go ahead and add your sandwich right to the pot, just like that. Make sure it's all out of the can. It smells so good. And I'm going to add a half a bag of the mixed vegetables so they have time to cook. Just a half a bag is fine. Now we're going to add the Prego meat sauce. I love the pop tops. I wish they all did that. Just dump it on in. Here's what it looks like in the Dutch oven so far. And I have it simmering on low. I put a can of the Prego meat sauce, a can of the sandwich, one package of the beef patties, a half a bag of the mixed vegetables, and then we're going to add in a half a box of the pen pasta. The water is just about coming to a raging boil, 
starting to bubble up on the side here as you can see and then I'm going to add the pasta. At this time we're going to preheat my oven. Actually, let's preheat it to 375, to 375 degrees. And I'm going to do my cornbread topper right in this Dutch oven so I don't have extra dishes. That is just about a raging boil. Let's get the pasta in. Add the pasta in, about a half a box. And we're going to let this cook for about 13 minutes. Give it a stir so they don't stick together. And when this is done, we'll drain it completely. Put it into the Dutch oven and then add the cornbread mix. While this is going to be cooking, we are going to prep the cornbread mix. The timer is set. Let's come over to the counter and prep the cornbread. I'm going to dump the package right into the bowl here and it takes one egg and a half a cup of milk. Just gonna eyeball in a half a cup. And we're gonna mix it. Mix the, the cornbread muffin mix completely. And it's okay to leave it clumpy, but make sure nothing's dry. This is usually found with the packaged cookies, mixes, and pancake mixes and stuff like that over at the Dollar Tree. And if you don't have a frozen refrigerator department, you can get canned mixed vegetables because I've seen green giant ones there. So set aside the mix for the cornbread. I'm going to come over here and check on the sloppy joe mixture. It smells so good. And we're going to give the pasta a stir. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. The oil is doing its thing. We've got about eight minutes before the water is done with the pasta. Be very careful. You don't want to burn yourself. Make sure all the pops is out. I purposely took the pasta out about five minutes early because I'm going to let them hang out in the sloppy joe bath for a few minutes before we add the cornbread mix and then pop it into the oven. And then we're going to cover the Dutch oven with the lid 
and put it into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until the cornbread is solid all the way through on the top. If you ever lose power, the Dutch oven is so versatile, you can use it on a grill and you still get your dinner. Just make sure that the Dutch oven, when you purchase one, it says it's compatible with campfire heat. Here's what it looks like so far and it smells absolutely amazing and I'm dying to try some. I have the corn muff mix and I'm just going to pour it over the top. The bus is here picking up my team for tech school and they'll be gone till about 3.30 and then they have swing practice from 6.30 to 8.30 which is the last one of the year. And Wednesday morning she has her very last jazz band practice with the saxophone for the year. She is first chair. Make sure all of the cornbread mix is out of the bowl and into the Dutch oven. Then you're going to spread the corn muffin mix all over the top. So it will cook evenly within the oven. And this dinner came from the Dollar Tree. I will show you what it looks like. Just make sure it's smooth. Here's what it looks like. Now it's going to go into the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until it is done all the way through and cake-like. There's about six minutes left and let's check. I'm going to put it back into the oven for another six to maybe 10 minutes and then we'll check again. The second half is going to be cooked in the oven without the lid on. Let's take a peek, see how it's doing. It looks like it is done. Let's test it with a fork. It's cake-like and not liquidy, but I'm going to let it finish out for the remainder of the time. Let's take a look at it together. I gave it an extra two minutes. The oven's going to be extremely hot, so be very, very careful. And it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take it completely out and let it cool for a few minutes. Look at this beautiful sloppy joe cornbread casserole from the Dollar Tree. I think I want to do a cookbook of all these Dollar Tree videos and put it in print for everybody to enjoy. Maybe do a free download. I'm going to look into that. Let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. It has ground beef and the vegetables, the sandwich mix, the meat sauce from Prego, pen pasta by Barilla, Martha White cornbread topper, mmm. This is really, really good. I'll make sure I put everything in the description box below for you to enjoy this awesome sloppy drill Dutch oven casserole with cornbread topping. It is delicious. And if you do try it, please let me know in comments below and other videos. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my link and checking me out. I also do Dollar Tree dinners as well as Dollar Tree hauls. Grocery hauls, free food hauls once a month, cleaning videos, as well as get it all done with meal prep. And I like to do extreme cleaning, decluttering, and organizing videos. If any of this interests you, please look for my subscribe guy. He's going to tell you 
you give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you click on the subscribe button below and then tap that bell because YouTube will notify you when I upload more content. And thank you so much for everybody for watching and all of your support.